Hello friends, welcome to online study for you. This is Pratik Srivastava here, your placement trainer. And today I am going to discuss few of the question asked in the previous year examination of TCS and it is very much important for the 2019 phase 2 exams of TCS. So question number 1 is the question from the mock test and the remaining questions are from the previous year question. So let's start with the question number 1. So the sum of 6th and 5th element of an arithmetic progression is equals to sum of 7th, 10th and 12th elements of the same progression. Which element of the series should necessarily be equal to 0? Now friends, you might be knowing about arithmetic progression. You might be knowing about arithmetic progression. So if a number in AP, AP is nothing but arithmetic progression, then you can see, see I will show you one series 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So this is what? This is in arithmetic progression. This is in arithmetic progression because the difference between the numbers, the difference between the numbers is same and that is called common difference and that is called common difference and it is denoted as D and it is denoted as D. Now the first term will be, the first term will be A, right? The first term will be denoted as A and which is A1 here, right? Okay. So we got the first term. So first term will be denoted as a which is one common difference is D and if the total number of terms suppose it is still 8, 9 or 10 so the total number of term will be 8, 9, 10 accordingly. So there are very few things are there in the arithmetic progression which we have to know. Now friends the sum of the 6th and 15th element of an arithmetic progression so suppose A, A plus 1, A plus 2, A plus 3 so this is what so these are in the arithmetic progression right friends so a a plus 1 a plus 2 a plus 3 a plus 4 a plus 5 all are in arithmetic progression now the sixth term so friends if you see here a plus 4 a plus 5 so this is first term second term third term fourth term fifth term and this is sixth term so if we we'll talk about the sixth term then sixth term will be what friends a plus 5 then the sixth term will be what a plus 5 and if we we'll talk about the 15th term then the 15 term term will be a plus 14 a plus 14 and then if we we'll talk about the 7th 10th and 12th so the 7th term will be so that 7th term will be friends what so the 7th term will be a plus 6 and the 10th term will be a plus 9 and the 12th term will be a plus 11 right now see we have assumed a number we have assumed this series in ap now friends what they are telling the sum of 6th and 5th element of an arithmetic progression so 6th where is 6th six? 6 is nothing but a plus 5 and 6th plus 15th so 15th is what a plus 14 a plus 14 is equals to or uh, is equals to sum of 7th 10th and 12th so 7th is a plus 6 and 10th is a plus 9 and then 12th is a plus 11 and then 12th is a plus 11 now friends this will become 2a plus 14 plus 5 will be 19 and here 3a plus see 9 plus 6 is 15 and 15 plus 11 will be 26 now friends if you'll bring uh, this left side if you'll bring this side then 3a minus 2a plus 26 minus 19 will be equal to 0 so this will be a plus a plus 26 minus 19 so 16 minus 9 is 7 so this is nothing but 7 so a plus 7 will be equal to 0 and a plus 7 will be nothing but the eighth term a plus 7 will be nothing but the eighth term so eighth term is equals to 0 so friends the question was very simple I can say the question was very simple the only thing is the only thing is I have elaborated it here see the first arithmetic progression means if a number is in arithmetic progression then the common difference will be same so the common difference you can see same that means it is in arithmetic progression so I have assumed a series in arithmetic progression you can see the common difference so a plus 1 minus a it will be a again a plus 2 minus a plus 1 so this will become minus so this will become again 1 so the common difference between the numbers is 1 that means it is in arithmetic progression now friends what they are telling is the sixth term and the 15th term sum is equals to the sum of 7th the sum of 7th 10th and 12th the sum of 7th 10th and 12th and this is 6th and this is 15th 
then they are asking which element of the series should necessarily be equal to 0. Then friends what I did see you can see first term, second term, third term, fourth term, fifth term and sixth term. So sixth term you can see a plus 5 that means one less. So sixth term will be a plus 5, fifteen term will be one less a plus 14, seventh term will be again one less a plus 6, tenth term will be one less that is 10 minus 1 is 9, then twelfth term will be one less that is nothing but 11. Now if you will add then 2a plus 19 is equals to 3a plus 26, if you will subtract a plus 7 is 0 that means 8 this will be 8th term then only 8 minus 1 will be equal to what 7. So 8th term will be equal to 0 that means option B is the correct answer for question number 1 friends. Now moving towards the question number 2 friends. Question number 2 is a very good question friend and this has been asked in the TCS NQT previous year. Now let us read the question and try to solve it here. In a group of 5 families, every family has a certain number of children such that number of children forms an arithmetic progression with a common difference of 1 starting with 2 children in the first family. So friends how many families are there? So you see 5 families are there, 5 families are there and each family is there is certain number of children are there but their numbers but their numbers are in arithmetic progression so that the number of children forms an arithmetic progression with a common difference of one is starting with two children in the first family so friends in the first family in the first family two children is there then in the second family definitely three children will be there in the third family there will be four children will be there in the fourth family there will be five children will be there and then there will be sixth family then there will be sorry fifth family how many children will be there six children will five children will be there and then in the fifth family there will be six children will be there right friends see in the first family they are only telling in the first family starting with two children so first family two children second family three children third family four children fourth family five children and fifth family six children see why we have taken like this because they are telling the numbers of children are in arithmetic progression with a common difference of one so you can see common differences we can see the common difference is nothing but equal to one the common difference is nothing but equal to one friends now friends let us move to the next line so next line is very important and and this line makes this question one of the very important question so despite the objection of their parents every child in a family so every child means see here two child is there here three child is there here four child is there right five child is there and the sixth child is there right so despite the objection of their parents every child in a family has three times as many pets to look after as the number of offspring in the family offspring means nothing but kids so three times as many kids so friends you see in the first family in the first family in the first family okay so in the first family there are two there are two children are there right okay two children are there and then how many pets are there to look after so you can see the last line is what they are asking what is the total number of pets in the entire group of five families so friends here there are two children are there then how many how many pets then how many pets are there to look after so three times three times as many pets to look after as the number of as the number of kids so there are two kids so two into three times of that will be nothing but two into three plus and then in the second in the second family there are three children are there and then three times of the kids then the three times of the kids then three into three into three plus then there are in the third family there are four kids are there and then number of pets is nothing but then number of pets is nothing but three times of the number of offspring in the family the number of kids is four then same again five into three into five and plus six into six into three into six six into three into six so three times of the number of kids in the family three times of the number of kids in the family now if you we'll multiply then this you see friends two into two is four four into two is twelve plus this will be twenty seven plus 4 into 4 is 16, 16 into 3 is 48 plus and then 5 into 5 is 25 plus 3 is 75 plus and uh, 6 into 6 is 36, 36 into 3 is 36 into 3 will be 108. Now if we will try to add then 8 plus 5 13, 13 plus 7 is 20, 28 plus 2 is 30. So 3 will be in hand, so now 3 will be in hand, 
3 plus 7 is 10, 10 plus 4 is 14, 14 plus 2 is 16 and 16 plus 1 will be 17 and then 1 will be in hand and then 1 will be in hand and 1 plus 1 will be 2. So, there will be total 270. So, what is the total number of pets in the entire group of 5 families? So, there are total number of pets is nothing but 270. So, 270 is the total number of pets in the family. So, I hope you would have understood this question. This was one of the very important question asked in the TCS exam. Now, moving towards the question number 3. Question number 3 is also a very important question friends. So, let us see how we are going to solve this. So, initially when Sona and Tina left for a shopping expedition, Sona had 3 times the money that the Tina had. So, here Tina and here Sona. So, beginning when they left for the, so be, beginning when they left for the shopping, then the Sona had 3 times, then the Sona had 3 times what Tina had. So, suppose Tina had x, then the Sona has 3x. They bought things amounting to rupees 480 together out of which Tina's share was 65 percent. So, they bought things amounting to rupees 480 together. Right friends. So, here what we will write. So, we can see here friends the total is what 480 the total is what 480 and see they bought for 480 rupees and out of that Tina's share is what Tina's share is 65 percent then Sona's share will become automatically 65 plus 35 percent. Now, if you will calculate 65 percent of 480, see because they are clearly telling friends they are spending what 480 together for shopping. So, 65 percent of 480 will be nothing but equal to 5 2 ja, 5 3 ja, and 2 24 times. So, 3 into 20 will be 260 plus 52 will be equal to 312. So, Tina's share in that was 312 and Sona's share was how much? So, 480 minus 312 will be equal to 168. So, Sona's share was 168. Now, friends, at the end of the shopping, Sona was left uh, left with 4 times the amount that the Tina had. So, after the shopping, friends, so after the shopping, how much amount Tina will be left with? So, Tina spent 312 rupees and Sona has spent how much? And Sona has spent Sona has spent how much? 168 rupees. Right friends? See they are clearly telling Tina has spent how much? Tina has spent 65 percent that means 312 and in the uh, question clearly telling Sona had 3 times of the money what Tina had. So, till here things will be clear for you. Now, at the end of the shopping Sona was left with. So, Sona was left with. So, 3x minus 168 Sona was left with 4 times 4 times the amount that Tina had. The Tina had so, Tina has spent 312 rupees. So, 4 into x minus 312. What was the amount which Tina had in the beginning? So, now, so Tina had x rupees. So, we have to calculate the value of x. So, 3x minus 160 will be equal to 4x minus 12 into 4 is 48 and this will be 1 to 4 it. Now, x will be equal to 1 to 4 8 minus 168. So, 8 minus 8 will be 0 and 4 minus 6 will be, so 4 minus 6 will not go, so it will become uh, 14, 14 minus 6 will be 8 and then 11 minus 1 will be 10. So, Tina had 1080 rupees in the beginning. So, this was one of the easy question but important as well. Now, moving towards the question number 4 which is a very complicated question for the today's video. So, question number 4 you can see how big it is and in TCS sometimes they will ask this kind of question. So, do not worry. Uh, what we are going to do, we are we will read the line one by one, we will read the statement one by one and then we will try to solve it. So, according to the stock policy of a company, each employee in the technical division is given 15 shares. So, in the technical division, they are getting 15 shares of the company and each employee in the recruitment division, so each employee in the recruitment division is getting 10 shares, is getting 10 shares employee belonging to both committee gets 25 shares. So, both committee means technical plus recruitment the employee who is belonging from both recruitment plus the technical they are getting 25 shares, they are getting 25 shares each. There are 20 employees in the company. So, there are total 20 employees in the company. So, friends this kind of question we solve using Venn diagram. This kind of question we solve using Venn diagram. So, two circles I am going to draw, one for your technical, 
one for your technical and one for your recruitment and the middle one will represent the middle one will represent both in technical and uh, recruitment department now the total number of employees the total number of employees in the company is 20 employee so there are total 20 employees in the company and each belong to at least one division so out of this 20 employee so each at least belong to one division and they may belong to one or more division as well the cost of each share is 10 dollar so the cost of each share so cost of each share is nothing but 10 dollar okay friends if the technical division has 15 employee so technical division has 15 employee and so the technical division has 15 employees and the recruitment division has 10 employees so 15 employees and here it is 10 employees right then what was the total cost of the share given by the company so friends till here i have not done anything till here i have not done anything whatever has been told in the question that's what i have written here now friends you see what they're telling in technical division 15 employees are there and in recruitment division 10 employees are there but the total number of employees are but the total number of employees are what 20 only so how come this is 15 and this is 20 here that means there is that means there is some concept of venn diagram is involved here so that we'll have to understand so total number of employees are 20 only that means see and here it is 25 that means five employees are there who is common who is common that means there are five employees are there that means there are five employees are there who are both from technical who are both from technical and the recruitment division and then we can say if five will be common and this circle see friends this circle is total 15 so if this is 5 then this will be 10 then only 5 plus 10 will be 15 in the recruitment total number of employees is 10 total number of employees is 10 then here it is 5 then the other then the other will be 5 here then only 5 plus 5 will be 10 now friends i wanted to tell you something see this total represent the total number of 10 employees whereas the total number of 10 employees whereas this 5 represent this 5 represent only 5 employee only 5 employee only 5 employee of recruitment division only 5 employee of the recruitment division but this 10 employees but this 10 employees represent represent 5 5 from recruit, recruitment 5 from recruitment plus 5 from 5 from recruitment and 5 from recruitment and technical so this total this circle represent total 10 employee so this 5 represent only only recruitment division and this five from both recruitment from the recruitment and the technical division so this is common so now you can see now i have total 20 number of employee 20 number of employee now what is the question friends then what was the total cost of the share given by the given by the company so friends if you calculate the total shares so uh, one minute so if you come uh, if you calculate the total shares friend if you calculate the total shares then you can see friends then you can see total shares given to only technical department so technical department friends how many how many employees are there 10 employees are there how many employees are there 10 employees are there and each employee is getting each employee is getting 15 shares so total 150 share for technical department total 150 share for technical department and recruitment department total 5 employees are there and how many shares has been given to the recruitment department uh, 10 shares so 5 into 10 so recruitment department total of uh, 50 shares and then 5 and then there are 5 employees from both the departments and they are getting 25 shares each so they are getting total 25 shares each right friends okay and then then one share cost 10 dollar one share cost 10 dollar so total share will cost into 10 now you can see this is 15 plus, uh, this is 150 plus 50 plus 125 and into this will become 10 now if you'll add then 150 plus this will be 200 325 and 325 into uh, 10 will become 3250 that means the total share cost was option c which is 3250 rupees so friends i will say this question was not difficult but this question was not difficult but it was little tricky so you have to have a knowledge of venn diagram so i have taught you the basics of 
I have taught you the basics of Venn diagram. So please be clear with that. It total circle means it is representing the total value. So total technical implies total implies with technical knowledge is 15. Out of that, the 10 person are there who knows only technical, but five is there who knows technical plus recruitment also. So friends, I hope you have understood the questions and the solution. Thanks a lot for watching the video and all the best for your TCS exam.